Where should you stay in Paris using points? Well, last year my wife and I went to Paris and we were there in September of 2022 and we stayed at the Park Hyatt Vendome. Now this was easily one of the best hotels I have ever stayed at, but the greatest thing about it is how cheap it was redeeming for points. So if you wanna know more about this hotel, the room, the location, and if it would be a good redemption for you, keep watching. Last year, my wife and I went to Rome, Paris, and London on a 10-day European vacation, and we used points to cover all of our hotels and our flights. If you wanna know more about that entire trip, you can watch the video linked above. But while we were in Paris, we had the opportunity to stay at two different hotels, and by far our favorite was the Park Hyatt Vendome. If you saw my recent video where I reviewed the Tribune Hotel in Rome, this video is gonna follow a pretty similar pattern. This isn't gonna be a comprehensive overview over the Park Hyatt Vendome. Instead, I'm looking at a few particular things. On this channel, we wanna travel for free using credit card points, and so that is how I'm looking at this. Is this a good value using points? Will it be a good location? Is the room gonna be okay? And if you can't already tell, this one is gonna be a winner. And so let's kick it right off with the cost. Now this is a category eight hotel according to the Hyatt Group, and we were able to stay there for two nights, September 9th and 10th, it was a Friday and a Saturday, and we booked for a total of 80,000 Hyatt points. This was 40,000 points per night. These were considered to be uh, their regular rate for their standard king room. And what's so great about this redemption was that if you were to book using cash, this price would have cost you 1,574 US dollars for this room. Instead, we were able to book it for 40,000 points and you can get that rate booking out right now as low as 35,000 points on an off peak and as high as 45,000 points on uh, peak rates. Now, I'm not even gonna get into their rates for their suite or their premium suites because honestly, despite how amazing those rooms probably are, I don't think that's what my audience is probably looking for. We want a great rate, we want a great room, and we wanna get it for as cheaply as possible. So I'm just looking at the standard king room for uh, the Park Hyatt Vendome, and that's exactly what I booked. So instead of the $1,574 per night, we did 40,000 points per night. And using our calculations to figure out the cost per point, this came out to an incredible redemption rate of 3.9 cents per point. On average, the points guy says that Hyatt points are roughly worth 1.7 cents per point. And so at 3.9, this is an absolutely incredible value. I did a video on a trip to Cancun, which also had great Hyatt redemption value at 1.9 cents per point. This is 3.9 cents per point in the heart of Paris. Second, let's look at the room. This was one of the best hotels I have ever stayed at, so the room blew me away. It was a little tight, uh, but for a Paris hotel room, it was honestly enormous. We had a balcony that kind of looked onto an indoor courtyard and uh, had these amazing French doors that opened up onto the patio with a little table on the outside, the king bed, a massive bathroom. Uh, we had a, a water closet. Uh, a bunch of cool amenities that you don't see in other hotels. But top to bottom, this was high end. It was marble, it was luxury. It was uh, remote controlled blinds and blackout curtains. I mean, everything was just another tier up, like another level up. And I would absolutely love to stay in this hotel again. So uh, 10 out of 10 on the room. Third, let's look at the location. Now the location to me was incredible. This feels like it's right in the heart of Paris. It's in the Opera District. And if you look at it on the map here, it's right in the middle of everything, to be honest. And when I was reviewing the Rome Hotel, one of the primary things I was looking at was the walking distance between the hotel and the sites in Rome. But here, there's honestly only one distance you need to know. And it's a four minute walk from the Park Hyatt Vendome to the closest metro station, the Opera metro station. And listen, I'm an American who does not use a subway very often in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 
but I was able to figure out the Paris Metro super easily. It was clean, it was efficient, it felt safe, and we used it the entire trip. It got us everywhere all over the city, super fast, super cheap. I cannot recommend it enough. So if you're worried about being in a weird spot, don't be. This isn't a weird spot. One, it's awesome. It's a great area, the Opera District. But also, you can get anywhere you need to go because of the Metro. In conclusion, what do I think about the Park Hyatt Vendome? Well, I feel like it's pretty obvious. I think this is my favorite hotel I've ever stayed at. Uh, I really believe it could be the best redemption for from using credit card points in all of Paris. The only other hotels that are giving this a run for its money are other Hyatts that are in the city. And you know, I think I'm actually just gonna have to go back to Paris to visit those other Hyatts to actually be able to compare. But if you've been to any other Hyatts in Paris and you think they're better than the Park Hyatt Vendome, please drop a comment below. I would love to know. Uh, but I love this hotel. I cannot recommend it enough. And if you're looking for a stunning, luxurious hotel in the heart of Paris with a great redemption rate, this is my pick. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.